Hello and welcome to the live stream. Uh, hopefully it's all working fine. And today I'm going to show you how to uh, program the uh, globe. No, so they think they call it spherical POV. As you see at the moment, it's running in the background. It's uh, it's got my own text on. It's not the default text. You have to excuse me, I'm just babbling a bit at the moment. Uh, just trying to get the uh, hardware and the software sorted out a bit. <coughs> Feel free to ask any questions on anything you like. It doesn't have to be this uh, spherical PO VN. I've had a lot of uh, people ask how you program this. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna program it back to basics and uh, then show you how to add some text to it uh, this is all hopeful uh, it is live-ish so see how we get on all right so let's just depower that before it takes my hands off right what i'm going to use to program it is this little let's try Try and not drop the camera. Oh, oh, oh Joyce alive. Oh, I think it's still working. Right. I bought this off of uh, eBay. I think it came with a uh, Audrino Mini. Uh, it's a glorified, uh, cheapy Japanese USB. It's a TTL. Have I got that? Right, let me have a little play. Stand by. Uh, what was I doing? What am I doing? Ah, story of my life, can't remember. Trying to do multiple things at the moment, <clears throat> apart from losing my voice. Right, if I just do this, here's my computer screen here. I've just plugged it in. It actually uh, appears on my computer as a Silicon Labs CP210X USB to UART bridge. Like I said there, uh, a couple of quid, eBay. Uh, if that right now first thing I'm going to do I want to set this back to basic if I can find my programs right if I just drag this up hopefully you can see Right, this is basically uh, all the files that you can download from Banggood. It's all in one big zip. And the first thing I'm going to use is this one here. It's STCISP. And I'm going to use that to program it back to basic. And let's just drag that into your frame. Let's minimize that one. Right, let's just that. <coughs> right, uh, I've set this up. This you set the uh, MCU type to an STC fifteen L two K O eight S two. 
minimum and maximum probe weight doesn't really matter. The COM port obviously you select, I'm selecting my silicon labs which is the USB device. Uh, one thing that you do need to change is the megahertz here. Change that to 18. Right now what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and minimize this. Hopefully this works. So you can see what I'm doing now. Right, I am going to here's the here, here's the connections here. And if I just unplug, no, I shouldn't unplug. I'll just set that software up. I will unplug it in a minute. All right, unplug in this red lead, which is five volts on here to the VCC, and then plug in these two in. Very awkward, awkwardly plugging them in. And I've got the white one on P30, which goes to, I'll have to get a torch because uh, the USB is in the dark. And that's, and I still can't read it. Uh, that's connected to RX. Uh, the black one, oh, I'm locking the camera. P31 on the board here. It's connected to TX and I have not connected the ground. This is the key. Is you don't connect the ground. So I'll just open this up a bit. I'm trying not to knock the camera. What you do now is in the software, I'm just going to open the hex. Actually if I, if I zoom out a bit and show you the I'm going to put the original hex in, so I will show you where that is. And not by closing it, I won't. Again, it's in this software. If you look up the, I think it's PC software for changing words, then need to change words. You've got two hex files. I'm just going to load that top hex file. Right. So let me minimize that. I'm going to open the file. As you can see, I'm going to open this one. Right, the hex file is now in the program. And I'm ready to download. So I'll hit the download. Nothing happens. Because it's waiting for me and hopefully it won't time out. So you, and when I power cycle this, you should see it all kick into life okay there we go it's just kicked into life it's programmed it and now this will be the default let me move those out of the way and fire it up, fire it up if I can find the USB thingy right Okay, it's still got my wording on, which of course it would have had. Sorry, leading you up the garden path. But norm, <coughs> what that is is because I've got it in the actual memory, and I've just done, changed the firmware for the same firmware. It hasn't actually achieved anything. So if you have been uh, dicking around with the firmware, that's how you can get back to the changing the words, right? I was actually hoping it would come up with the Chinese words, but it hasn't. But I will show you how to do that now. Okay. I'm just going to do that. Let's get rid of that. That. I thought I had that open. All right. If we go to. PC software change words and this here, this one here. Let me widen your window so you can see a bit more for a moment. It's this one here. It's yeah, load, load of gibberish, LED, load of gibberish. 
it probably means something in Chinese. I have no idea. Uh, sadly, this program is predominantly in Chinese, and I believe there is a uh, a PDF somewhere in this this lot which will does tell you what these are. I believe this one's for pictures. Uh, this one's for text. Uh, this is this here. Hopefully you can hopefully you can see my mouse moving. This is the top half of the globe. This the, this is the bottom half of the globe. Uh, obviously this is the COM port. This is the right button. So if I just put hello YouTube. It's me. I'm back. Doesn't matter what you put. They, they do recommend you put a few spaces. Right now, now we've got our text. This is apparently what it's going to look like. Uh, here you can change the font and the size. I'm going to keep it like this. <coughs> I am obviously going to change. Com port seven. Guess uh, if you remember, I've lost the, the window totally. I think I might have closed it. But when I showed you, it said that my USB thing's on Com port seven. Right, so software is ready. We just need to. Let me just minimise this. Get our globe ready. Let's. Slow down the acceleration. Luckily, this one we can actually connect them all and program at our will. Connecting like this obviously is not powering the motor, which is quite good. So I can have it going into standby mode. Let's just tick in through. Can I open this a bit? Oh dear. Let me just get these screens so I can, can hopefully see a bit of what I'm doing. Right, when I when I actually hit this button here, the program button, hopefully you will see the light momentarily almost stop, which is a good sign because it means it's. Uh, Listening to what I have to say. Right, let's see. I'm hitting the program thing now. Okay, did, did you see that pause? That was good, and we have the Chinese okay. Right, so now the device is now programmed for our own text. So if I now unplug this here and try it and power it on without taking my fingers off sorry about the camera it's uh, as I've said before it looks better to the human eye because uh, cameras tend to miss frames. But here we are, here's our new wording. So that's, this is the easiest way to do it. It's out of the box and you should be able to plug in and uh, using this software, whatever it's called, uh, it's in the directory. Turn on my display again. It's in the directory PC software change words, and that's how you can actually use your dongle to change the words. Of course, you can actually uh, let's go back here. You can actually load any of these in. 
Uh, these are actually firmware for doing different things and learn out learn how the globe ticks uh, if you do use any of these or one two six uh, you will not be able to use the PC software to change words you have to hard code them in to the software which is uh, going to be another another video I think uh, it's a bit more in depth but not too bad it does have the ability uh, you can uh, shall I say change things slightly I'm losing my mouse like you see like you see on the globe here uh, the spacing between the letters can be a bit dubious sometimes uh, obviously if you're using these uh, custom ones between one and six you can actually dial that to your leisure but using those you do lose the ability to be able to quickly upload text well hopefully that was useful I know a lot of people have said how do you program it and had lots of problems uh, if you do have any problems I mean give us a shout I'll always answer questions and uh, hopefully you've built the kit successfully and you've programmed it with whatever you want okay many thanks for watching I've rambled on long enough and uh, obviously this video was live it was not prepared and I'm actually quite surprised that uh, it worked I think I'll probably find I haven't switched a microphone on so there's been 16 minutes of me saying nothing but okay <laughs> enough of me now Right, many thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Hopefully it was useful. Maybe I'll do it again, but uh, do it a bit smarter.